Okay, Real Madrid preview. Um, off the back of the 3-3 at the Bernabeu. Obviously, we've got the game coming up this Wednesday. Biggest game of the season for us so far. We now have to turn away from everything that's just happened in the Premier League over the weekend. Obviously, you know, all the dominoes have fallen in our favour, mm. which is all fantastic. But this City team now have to turn their heads away, completely forget about it and focus completely and utterly on what lies in front of them in the game against Real Madrid. How are you feeling about that game? I'm I'm proper nervous for it. Proper nervous for it. I, like it's a knockout, isn't it? Like, do you know what I mean? It's a full, There's no we can save it in the second leg. Like we can save it with another game. It is just that the second leg. It's obviously we're going in three three. I'm nervous for it. Um, I know what that we would play at our best. That we're a better side than Real Madrid. That's not a given. But um, I think we've just got to be pure passion merchants. We've got to be there, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we'll get onto the tactics of it and stuff, but what, my, in my opinion, the biggest aspect on Wednesday is going to be the fans. Is going to be the, the atmosphere to has to be so on point. Yeah, so on point. <laughs> to take the piss, we should do some mad three sixty T four. Yeah. Show them what three three sixty T four is, because <laughs> they what they what they put out was not one. So we should be like, no, no, this is a three sixty T four. I have seen stuff from the, um, the eighteen ninety four group saying that like they've got like the biggest display, the biggest display, ever. yeah, yeah. So I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm not sure game. what that'll be, able, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. And I'm nervous, like even just like thinking about going into it, I'm nervous. Do you think that the fans? Like the biggest advantage? Do you think like the atmosphere at the Etihad is like the biggest intimidator, or do you think it's the football on the pitch? I think it's a bit of both because the way that we play football, we do suffocate teams in that. I don't see it being anything like the first leg. Nothing like the first leg. I think we'll have a lot more control of the game. I think I think the fans honestly genuinely. Do you know when people say, "Oh, the twelfth man," or you know what I mean, I genuinely think that is the case. Just go, just going off the previous comments from last year mm. and Real Madrid were like the Real Madrid players saying it's Valverde, one, one of like the most like violent atmosphere they've ever been in, kind of thing. It yeah. was crazy. Like you do you they don't. That's what they're scared of. They're scared of putting themselves back in that that situation where they could crumble and be like that. We need to put them back in that. Say come back to hell, in it. You're basically just going right here. You go. You're in a place where you don't want to be. I don't want to make them comfortable at the Etihad at all. They, we shouldn't be giving them any time. And I think the fans have a massive part to play with that. Do you back? Do you back like the city fans to bring it again? Yeah. So I think last year. I know. I know it sounds. I don't know. Don't know if it does sound weird, but like I felt like it was so easy to give that atmosphere because of the fact that we were chasing our first treble and our first Champions League. Mm. Like. It almost felt like there was this desperation in the crowd. Do you know what I mean? The, yeah, there was an aura about it last like, year. Like where... of, of almost feralness of like, uh, we need this, we want this, yeah. this is history, this is our first time, like we're, we're begging for it, we're ready for it, we're rowdy for it, we're gunning for it. Whereas this year when it's like, we've already just come off the back of a treble, realistically, if like City went and won the Premier League and FA Cup and didn't win the Champions League, I don't think any City fans will call it a bad season. So it's like mm. when you've then got that and it almost doesn't feel like the the stakes are as high, do you think City will still be able to bring that energy and that, that sort of chaos, um, you know, the fans? I think so. I think so. I, I, I think they want it. I think they want it. I get what you say. I do get your side of it, though, because... It's not my side. I'm no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. I get that side of it then, that side of it. I, I understand that the we have won the treble this time. We've already won a Champions League now. It's almost, you can kind of go, oh, well, we won it last year. I mean, there's a let off in there. Whereas last year, it's like, we've never won this before. We need this. Like, that does level it up a little bit. But I, back, I do back the fans to 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 make it a, a mad place on, on Wednesday. Because like, it needs to happen. If, if people want to beat Real Madrid, then it's got to be top tier, man. On the pitch, then, what, what do you think the, the sort of key ingredients are to... Control. To be in this team. <laughs> Say it all the time. Control. Control. If you lose control, that's when you start conceding loads of goals. It's one thing we have lacked this season. Yeah. A lot. We have seen it. The positives, though. Positives, we've seen it more in the past four games. Yeah, that's that's giving me a little bit of hope with it because we're, look, 
we're starting to look like old, like it's the city that we know. And the city that we know plays a lot better than Real Madrid. So if yeah. the city that we know turns up against Madrid, then yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be buzzing. Um, a bit of control in there. I think Kev will return to the side. Obviously, we know that he, he was just ill uh, for the last one. I think Kev will be back in. I think Kovacic could be key. Do you think he'll start? I think I think it'd be, it'd be a smart move to start Kovacic just to protect us a little bit and get a bit of control of the midfield. Can I can I get a, a like predicted eleven? What are you going with? Ooh. We can do uh, it together. To be fair, yeah, yeah. Ed- we'll Edison. Go Edison, 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 Edison returns. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'll take him eight, but. Edison returns, okay. Is. So back four, are we saying a back four? Will be? Yeah. Kyle Walker. Ooh. Ooh. See, I don't know if he starts. Kyle Walker. Stone Warts for me are Diaz. Diaz, definitely. Stones. Stones, definitely. The thing is, right. Cavardial. Ake and Walker were on the bench against Luton, but, but they didn't get any minutes. Gavardio was just so good though. Vardio plays. Vardio, Vardio's on some top form right now and looking really good. He plays. So, sorry, Ake. I, I don't know if it might be Gavardio, Ake, Diaz and Stones, and Stones plays like that right back role. Stones plays the to right start back role. With, and then some point in the second half, whenever Pep feels we need it, Walker comes Walker on, can come on for Ake, and then Stones drops yeah, back Stones into the centre. Stones drops back into the back and you got Kyle Walker right back. Rate that. I'd go with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have confidence in that. Okay. Three midfielders. <laughs> See, I'd love it. Uh, Phil Foden, yeah. I'd love it if you've started in the midfield. But. I don't I don't think Kovacic will start. There's just because, a part of me that feels like the control of the midfield. You've, you've, right. So you've got to look at pretty much like there's six attacking spots or six midfield and attacking spots. I pretty much think that there are six players who, if a fit, are undroppable against Madrid. Rodri. Mm-hmm. KDB, mm-hmm. Bernardo, I was just about to say Foden, Bernardo Silva, Grealish, Foden. and yeah. Haaland. Yeah, all I, six of those players have to start. Yeah, it has. Kovacic is not. It has to be Bernardo Silva. So that's it'll, it'll be Rodri, Bernardo Silva, and Kevin De Bruyne, and you'll have up top Haaland, Phil Foden, and Jack Grealish. And Jack Grealish, yeah. That is that is that is that yeah, is definitely the midfield and front three that needs to be starting. Yes, yeah, so that's why I don't. I don't yeah, no, I agree. I, I completely agree. No, what about Bernardo. That. Got about Bernardo. Well, it's because I was going periodically through it and I was thinking of Bernardo Silva right wing, but then I realised Phil Ford is not playing there. So Yeah. Um, that's a sick team, you know. I'd be more than happy with it. I'd have no complaints. Um, and I definitely feel like, I feel like when Bernardo and Phil played together, it just, it that's like the, the best compromise of Phil playing in the middle because they just they just kind of interchange yeah um, yeah yeah like Phil scored from central the other night and mm-hmm. I know folk like KDB wasn't playing but I do feel like Cover and Bernardo actually started central and then like Bernardo and Foden just like kept switching yeah, you saw Bernardo about, you yeah, saw yeah. both of them out on the right wing a lot and then yeah. both of them central a lot so it's like I just feel like they interchange yeah the fluidity between it they, yeah. they, they both know as well that they can both cover yeah. each other in their roles whereas it's like if I see a midfield three of KDB cover and Rodri I'm like Foden's stuck on the wing yeah because them three are stuck in them positions yeah. like they're, they're not going to like you're not going to see cover six being right wing mode yeah, exactly. and anything like that so it's it? just like Foden's on the wing yeah and Foden yeah he's, he's, again he'll, he'll be whereas a victim Bernardo, of that. You just mix yeah. and match, mix That's and it. match. That's they, it, they, they can do it as they please. And I think Pep will tell them that as well. I think Pep probably does tell them that in games, like saying like, you two, mate, you're fluid, your positions. Yeah. Um, um, I'm sure we'll do preview streams or there'll be some other stuff yeah, going definitely. on. But um, you can change this during the week if, like, if I don't know, Erlen Harlan becomes unfit, <laughs> but early score prediction. 3 1. <laughs> I'm saying 3 1 as well. Yeah, I'm saying 3, three one. 1. I think 3 1. I reckon we go 2 0 up. They'll score one and we'll start sweating. I, do you want to know my prediction? I don't know why. I've just got a feeling they'll score first, but like early. Yeah. I could see them scoring in like the 10th minute or something. Mini head loss for five minutes and then we just batter them. I could see that. Yeah, I mean. And, and I back it. And I wouldn't enjoy it at the time. <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah. hate it. But actually, like at the end of the game, I'd be like, "That was sick. We came. Yeah, that behind. was so sick. <laughs> yeah, man, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>